Okay, so he says that basically, um, in order for a woman to start admiring her husband, she should look for characteristics that she does value in him. Because sometimes, sometimes people in general just they get too comfortable and they take what the person is doing right for granted Mm -hmm. and they don't you know they just so busy criticizing or complaining about the stuff that they're not doing Mm -hmm. that they're not appreciating the stuff they do do and i think all of us do that and we all have to be uh self-aware and conscious to make sure that we are you know saying hey you know he messed this up but he got this right so let me tell him that right? Right, right so he um dr harley suggested an exercise for women to be able to you know kind of identify what they admire about their husband and basically just basing it on these um 10 emotional needs Mm -hmm. and the woman's top five so it was affection conversation financial support honesty and openness um family commitment so the example that he gave in the book um the man was doing you know majority of the well it's like basically two columns. Right. Write down behavior that you admire and behavior that destroys my admiration. So you, so you list things. So for affection, for example, holds my hand when we're out together, hugs me when he comes home for work. Those were behaviors that she did admire about her husband. She didn't have any for uh, things that he didn't do right, basically. Mm. Right? Yeah. But for a conversation – she did have one that destroyed her admiration for him. And that was when I feel upset, he buries himself in his work and won't talk to me. Like he don't want to deal with her feeling upset, Mm. but he talks to him about talks to her about how the day went and uh, he takes an interest in her daily activities. So he was doing that right. But one thing over here, he wasn't doing right. 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 In the family commitment category, (laughs) He didn't have any behaviors that she admired. Right. Um, it, he was he was really messing up in the family, uh, family commitment category. Yeah. And that was a very uh, important emotional need to her that he was not. Um, he just wasn't fulfilling. Right. So, you know, what he could do with this is say she listed some things that she particularly didn't like. So he can try to fix his um Fix yourself. Like we're right. saying, <laughs> fix yourself. Fix yourself. Right? <laughs> <laughs> fix yourself. <laughs> and so he also says step two of like this process of working on, you know, a woman's admiration for her husband or vice versa. Right. Um, there's plenty. Of, we've done plenty of disclaimers about this, his and her situation and mm-hmm. understanding that we're talking about averages of what men and women like. And mm-hmm. of course, every person is different. So please listen to the other episodes and you'll read about you know you'll hear about these disclaimers that the author put out and that we're putting out okay right so um he says from a practical standpoint a wife will most successfully motivate her spouse to make changes in his behavior if she is willing to make a few alterations herself Mm. because none of us are perfect right correct so there's some things that we could definitely be doing better right right Right. (laughs) Spouses need to prepare themselves for defensive reactions from each other when they read the list. It's hard. It's hard to hear, like, you know, criticism, right? Yeah. Well, I should say complaints about you, about yourself, right? So it's hard to hear. So, you know, we need to do it with gentleness and kindness. Right. And, like, and be, and just be prepared that your spouse may get a little defensive, but right. you definitely want to deliver the message as, as, as best as you can, right? At the end of the day, iron sharpens iron. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? In order to improve, you got to know what you're not doing well. So, you know, what areas that you're not doing well so you can improve on them. Right. And in order to get that, you got to get an assessment from somebody <laughs> because it's hard to see yourself. Right. It's hard. People, that's why when people say, oh, you're going to be this or you're going to be that, they can see something in you that you can't see yourself. Right. So with the so you, you take you take that advice sometimes. Right. Oh, girl, you're going to be an, an actress. You know what I'm saying? You might, oh, yeah, maybe I can be an actress. Yeah. They can see that. So same thing as you, you take the good things, got to take the good with the bad. Mm-hmm. So if they saying that you need to work on this, you need to work on that. Don't take it as a, oh, they just jealous. They hating this, that, and the third. (laughs) No, there are haters out there. Yes. But there's some people out here that's truly just trying to help. 
And if you listen, especially some of your close friends, your your close friends should be the ones that's telling you, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. You know what I'm saying? You might want to listen to that because they're the ones that's close to you. They're not hating on you. They want to help. You know, so same thing with your 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 significant other. She's with you. Mm-hmm. He with you all the time. Talking to you all the time. So he or she has, if not more data than you have about your own self. Right. You right. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if they have more data, that's why it's easy. You know, some people say, well, it's easy to tell other people what to do or how to do what they would do in this situation. But when it comes to your own situation, it's hard. Mm -hmm. That's because you don't have enough data about you. You're not looking at yourself. You you are looking through yourself. You're in it. You know what I'm saying? You're not watching yourself. right? Right. So take that information and use it for your benefit. Whether you feel like it's a hate or not, man, listen to it. Right. So, um, yeah, once you, if you do this process and I'm just giving a really quick summer, dang, I, <laughs> it, lip up the, uh, microphone. Trying to, trying to kiss uh, the microphone. Hold on, Mike. Don't be uh, taking my wife. Hold up. <laughs> if you, um, if you guys decide to do this together, you take your list and you, you know, you, you try to change these behaviors because this is what this whole series is about is, Let's find out what our partner's most emotional, uh, Im- uh, most important emotional needs are, and let's just try to meet them. Let's try to meet each other's most important emotional needs, and both of us will be happy, and I we'll swear. all be all filled up. So, you know, you take these lists and you try to change these behaviors. So, here's the thing: it's a habit, right? You got to learn a new habit. So, here's a, quickly: here's the step. To learning a new habit first you got to define the habit that you want to form mm-hmm. right so that's doing that list or whatever yes. um create incentives for re- repeating the habit and disincentives for failing uh, falling back into old habits repeat the habit until it becomes m- almost effortless so Correct. this is kind of going back to what i was telling you before about like women just having to, sometimes women just haven't developed the habit of praising someone for and because of the way things are for us Mm -hmm. so it is that so that's what i was saying like you may just have to be patient the same way we have to be patient with you when you're forming a new habit you know as long as you guys talk about it and discuss it and say hey i'm really gonna try honey to you know give you appreciate make sure i show you my appreciation for the things that you are doing Mm -hmm. it may take me you know i may mess up but i'm trying to form a new habit so new habits take time they yes. take practice. Yes. But I was just telling you why it may be, you know, that habit may be a really tough one yeah. for women to really get over. But it's not saying that we can't. We can. We can tell you that we appreciate you. Okay. And we can communicate it. Okay. Yes. So uh, he says, you may not, this is for the women, you may not have developed the habit of telling your husband that you admire him just because you feel pride or admiration does not mean you communicate it. Teach yourself to speak those words of praise just as you have learned any other habit. At first, it may seem awkward, but as your habit develops, it will become smoother and more spontaneous. I was not good at speaking words of affirmation. Yeah. Uh, and so that's why I'm saying from experience that this was, Mm, this kind of goes back to like five love languages like i'm showing you that i love you and that i appreciate you for the things that you do my love language is active service so i do everything she want me to work but i'm saying i'm showing i'm before we found out about five love languages i'm trying to show you how much i love you and appreciate you by doing things for you because that's the way that that's my love language and i'm not even noticing all the things she's doing no because that don't even matter to him he want (laughs) words of affirmation and physical touch that's what he (laughs) wants Yeah. So, you know, I've definitely gotten better at this, but this is this words of affirmation was low on my list. I don't really need a lot of words of affirmation. Right. So it's just a harder, de- um, a harder. Um, it was probably like the last one. Really? It probably was like the last one. Right. Yeah. The least. <laughs> like I just don't need it as much. Right. And that's just not my motivator. Right. right. So, yeah, I, I've after I found out about five love languages, then I started, you know, actively trying to make sure that I praise Jason because that is the way that he receives love. So now it is much easier for me to do that. 
it's much easier for me to tell you that I appreciate you because I've been practicing and doing it. But Jason is, that's his love language. So Jason tell me how much he love and appreciate me every day, oh, <laughs> like, yeah. multiple times a day. And I told him, I said, I feel bad because I'll be trying to keep up with you. Right? right. Like I'm trying to, you know, tell you as much as you tell me, but I just don't think to do that. I'm running around doing stuff. I don't think to tell him all the time as much as he tells me how much he appreciate me but right. i have gotten better right oh yeah like i sure. do i uh, hopefully i say it enough I, I tell you how much i appreciate you enough right right which one you think is number one for me physical touch or words of affirmation i think it's words of affirmation yeah and then physical touch was number two yeah <laughs> but they were close they were like maybe one point off so basically both of them are very very important to you right yeah <laughs> so I thought this this part was interesting. He says sometimes a woman fears expressing praise too soon because her husband uh, might stop working on behavior that has not yet become habitual. Like I'm too I'm scared. You might you might quit. But no, no actually it's fuel. It's fuel. It's motivation. So it's you want fuel. you want to keep going. You want to keep doing it. Yeah, don't try. Don't withhold it. That means I'm not doing something right. You ain't you don't even give me praise for what I am doing. Right. Give me praise for what I'm doing. That's going to make me want to do more. <laughs> yeah. So simple. Yeah. Okay. 